with any first principles, you can't typically prove them uh, in a demonstrative sense, but you can show dialectically that if you don't hold for them, then your life is weird. So like the principle of non-contradiction in the speculative order that a thing can't both be and not be in the same order in the same respect, you can't prove that. There's a voice in the tradition who says, for those who deny it, they don't need a proof, they don't need an argument, and they need to be beaten and then ask whether it is not the same to be beaten and not beaten, you know, because there's a way in which reality reinforces its intelligibility and its integrity. And so when it comes to like approaching reality with a certain confidence that reality is as it projects itself, it's just sensible. So like in the first way, the first proof for the existence of God, St. Thomas just says, motion is evident to the senses. Basically stuff changes. We observe that to be the case. Now, even if we were deceived in our vision, at the very least, there's a change in our perception. And so that's a change. So things are still changing and that's the only starting point upon which we can subsequently reason in making the first way and still get the goods. And so I think that a lot of people tie themselves in knots or perform very difficult me mental gymnastics as a way by which to say, you know, you can't possibly argue on the basis of this, but it's like, we're all starting somewhere. You know, everyone admits certain brute facts and I'm choosing these brute facts because they seem to correspond to my experience. So I would say simply like, I'm not gonna prove to you that we don't live in the matrix. I believe certain things about God about Christ, about the sacramental order, which make it really hard for me to believe that anything like that is even remotely plausible. But my life lived in this non-matrix-like trajectory for the past however many years. It's borne fruit in the sense that if I approach reality in this way, reality tends to interact with me and I with it in fruitful, propitious ways. So I think, I think often it's like that. So when people say, you have to prove this, you can push back to them and say, no, not necessarily. 